I need to bring this heirloom back to Mr. Adley. You look none the worse for wear. I take it you decided against entering the Absconder's Cave, then? Mr. Adley, I retrieved the heirloom pocket watch from Milo's body. <laughs> Merlin's beard! How did you? Actually, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about that Acromantula ever again. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is quite difficult to retrieve. Shouldn't I get a reward for my trouble? Aye, uh, of course I'm happy to pay you. I, I can't afford much. I promised to pay for all the supplies Milo's daughter will need to attend Hogwarts one day. In that case, all right. Here's the heirloom watch. Oh, thank you. I know that Milo's daughter will be glad to have this. What do you have for sale? Milo can rest in peace now that his wishes have been fulfilled and his daughter has something to remember him by. again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask! I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared, really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, 
picked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. <laughs> Fair bit of bad luck there, I'd say. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacular and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did, and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Eldritch Diggory's portrait in the common room told me about his great-niece, Helen. His great-niece? Yes, she used to be in aura. Well, she took me to Azkaban to meet Anne Thisbe. You went to Azkaban? Quite an experience, but you see, Anne knew Richard Jackdaw before he died. So I had to find his ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton... I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way, and a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. To think it was beneath us all this time. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. 
the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vaulting Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience, the trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. Don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. It's time you learned Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me.
Revelio. Rebellion. There you are. The cross one's jewel is to beat. How did you get on with those tasks? Revelia. Madam Kogawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. 